Hello, this is Eric Chappell, author of AutoCAD Civil 3D 2014 Essentials, and this is the Essentials and Beyond exercise for Chapter 11. In this exercise, we're going to open the drawing named Section Views Beyond, which I've opened, and we're going to use some guidelines to change the display of the, of the sections and the section views contained within these sheets. So for step one, we are asked to assign the following styles to the section view group that we see in front of us. And part A of that is to arrange the section views using the bottom up, left to right with grid, group plot style. So to do that, I'll click on one of the section views, and I'll go to View Group Properties. And if we look at the very top line here, we see group plot style. Right now it's set to bottom up, left to right. And we want bottom up, left to right with grid. So I'll select that, click OK. Click OK again. And we'll see the, uh, the arrangement change quite a bit. And we get the grid placed behind the sections. So that takes care of part 1A. Part 1B, apply the design 1V no grid section view style to all section views. Now I want to do that to all of them, not just one. So I'll click on one of the section views and I'll go back once again to view group properties. And I want to look at this column now, the style column. And I'll click the top list we're going to change that to Design 1V No Grid. And that will take care of all of them, all of the section views in that group. Again, I'll click OK. And you can see the section views themselves have changed their style. They now no longer include their own grid because they can use the, the background grid provided by the group plot style. Part C is apply the No Bands band set to all section views. So I'll click on one of the section views to bring up the contextual ribbon. Once again, go to View Group Properties. And I have to widen one of the columns here to see where the Band Set column is. In fact, let me widen this whole dialog so we can see everything a little better. Here we've got Volume Tables, Profile Grade, Offset and Elevation. We're interested in this one, the Band Set. So I'll click the Ellipsis button. Click Import Band Set, pick No Bands, and that's actually going to remove any bands that are shown on the section views, which currently there aren't any anyway, but that's a good, good exercise to show you how you would do that. Apply the label set named Rock to the Rock sections. So again, we'll click on one of the section views, go to View Group Properties, and this time I'm going to go to the Sections tab, and there's my Rock section. I'll change the style to, actually I want to change the label set to Rock. So I'll click the Edit, click Rock and OK, click OK again. And just like that, we've applied that label set to not just one, but all of the sections in the group. And that is an extremely powerful capability Imagine the time it saved us just on 20 or so section views. Now compare that and think about the time it would save you on 2,000 section views for you know miles and miles of road. So this ability to be able to affect entire groups of sections and section views really important in Civil 3D. The last thing we want to do is apply the presentation code set style. That's the last thing for step one, and we got step two and three to worry about. But for step 1E, we want to apply the presentation code set style to the Madison Lane corridor section. So again, I'll click on a section view, view group properties, and at this time I want to look at the style column for Madison Lane right here. So I'll click that cell. I want to change the style to presentation. Click OK, click OK. And if we look at the sections themselves, you can see they have this, uh, that this hatching included in the display of the section. All right, so that takes care of step one, parts A through E. 
Next, we want to update the group layout after we've made all these changes to make sure that the spacing between the section views is updated. So that's real easy to do. I'll just click on one of the section views and I'll say update group layout and that did change it slightly. It got them all realigned based on the spacing uh, dictated in the uh, group plot style. Finally, we want to create section view labels for any section views that fall within the bus pull-off station 3 plus 0, 0. So I'm going to go over to the plan view and see what stations that actually includes. That's going to include 2 plus 50 and 3 plus 0, 0. So what we want to do is call out the right side because we want to call attention to those stations, so let's say for the contractor, so that the contractor understands where those uh, changes are going to be. So here's station 2 plus 50. You can see how the edge of pavement is a little wider. And the point we want to call out is right here. And that's going to be a section view label. So I'll go to my annotate tab, open the add labels dialog. This is going to be a section view that I'm labeling. I'm labeling offset and elevation. I think these settings should be good. Click the Add button, click the Section View. Got to click the edge of it. Forgot there for a second that this grid does not belong to the Section View. It belongs to the, the Group Plot Style. So I'll click the edge, and now I'll tell it which spot I want to label. I'm going to zoom in nice and close so I can get this endpoint. And there's my offset and elevation. So I'll pull that off to the side a little bit turn off my O snaps and I want to add some text to that so I'll click on it and I'll say edit label text and we'll call this right EOP for right edge of pavement and we'll do the same thing for station 3 plus 0 0 now it would be nice if we could just copy this from here up to here but unfortunately it doesn't work that way. Um, the label references the section view, so for each label within a section view you have to create a unique label. So I'll just click the Add button, click the section view, snap to the point that I want to label, drag it off to the side a little bit, do the Edit Label Text, and once again I'll call this Write EOP. So now we've called it to the, the attention of the contractor that this, this lane is widening, but everyone are, everywhere else it's just the standard 12-foot lane on the right side. That completes step three, and that completes our Essentials and Beyond exercise for Chapter 11.